Amiga, do you ever feel caught between two worlds? You cherish your cultural background, but sometimes it clashes with the realities of raising a family in modern America. You might feel pressured to fulfill traditional expectations, yet you crave a life that allows you to be your true authentic self. If you're a Latina mom nodding your head right now, I see you and I get it. Balanced motherhood is more than your average mommy coaching program. It's a supportive comunidad designed specifically for you. I understand the unique challenges you face navigating between generations and culturas while forging your own path as a mama. Stop feeling like you have to choose between your roots and your future. Balanced motherhood empowers you to create a life that celebrates your heritage, embraces your motherhood journey, and prioritizes your own happiness. Spots are limited. Don't miss out on this opportunity to connect with a supportive community and create a more balanced life. Visit the link in the show notes to join the waitlist for the next Balanced Motherhood cohort. I can't wait to meet you. Hola, hola, amiga. So on last week's episode, we talked about how you can build a support system as a mommy, especially if you are a new mama. Well, today we dive into the art of finding balance, especially when we think we have to do this alone. Now, I don't know about you, but it is so hard for me to let things go and to hand it off to people. Like, for example, I am so specific on the laundry. And not too long ago, for the first time in I don't know how many years, I went to the laundromat because we don't have an in-unit washer dryer. Now that we have moved into a much smaller home, unfortunately, we don't have that luxury <laughs> where oftentimes many of us think that it is just like a regular in-unit washer dryer, but now I see it as a luxury. And it was just really hard for me to do a boatload of loads all by myself because I wanted to take charge. Instead of splitting this between me and my husband or perhaps a service getting of some sort, I just decided to do this on my own because I have a particular way of sorting out the laundry and folding the laundry <laughs> as well. But when we really think about balance, how can we find ways to either delegate responsibilities or implementing a strategic way of time management. And so, Amiga, like balancing things can be pretty hard. But what does it really look like, though, when it comes to everyday responsibilities from being a mama to being a professional or a worker? And so in this episode, I'll be sharing practical strategies for achieving balance as a mom. This includes either delegating tasks and chores to free up some time for yourself. We'll also discuss time management techniques like creating a schedule. And of course, self-care is essential for achieving balance. And so by incorporating these strategies, us mamas can begin to find a balance between our cultural expectations, pero también our own individual needs and the demands of motherhood. So remember it's to know that important. there is no one size fits all sort of approach. It's good to experiment, find what works best for you and ensure that you are practicing this level of balance. So that way you can feel a little bit more present, but have the time effectively and efficiently as well, because sometimes we're just in survival mode. And so that's something that I need to practice and I'm holding myself accountable for that um, because like I said, it is very hard for me to let go of certain things. This episode is also a reminder for me to implement these strategies. So join me on this episode as we explore different strategies for achieving balance in the chaos of everyday motherhood. Welcome to the Viva La Mami podcast. I'm your host, Jessica Cuevas. 
I am a mother of two on a mission to help redefine the meaning of motherhood as a modern Latina mom. Motherhood can be a complex journey, interwoven in two identities that often make us feel ni de aquí ni de allá. Viva La Mami is committed to providing you with knowledge, tools, and support to navigate the challenges and triumphs of motherhood as Latina moms. On the show, we'll be discussing culturally relevant topics that will help inform and empower you in whichever season you are in on your motherhood journey. We'll be joined by Latina moms, experts and professionals who can offer advice, practical tips, relatable stories, and honest conversations. So bring your cafecito as I invite you to be a part of this space as we create comunidad about the exciting and challenging parts of being a mommy. Ahora, vámonos. Building a strong support system and setting realistic expectations are essential for finding balance. And really, what does balance look like as mamás? Well, mujer, here are a couple strategies for achieving balance as a mama. Some of the things that you could do to find balance is how can you delegate tasks and chores? How can you manage your time effectively? Here are a couple questions that you may want to consider to then strategize for achieving balance as a mama. So the first question that you can ask yourself is, how can I delegate tasks and chores? Remember, we cannot do it all. It is impossible to clean a house and do all of the other tasks involved while also mothering, while also having a job, while also doing all of the other mental load that we do. So how can you delegate tasks and household responsibilities to your partner or whoever is living with you? If you are a single mama, know that you can break down these particular tasks and chores by day. There are many planners out there, like I've seen these on Pinterest, and how you can break down these tasks and responsibilities within a week. Another question that you can ask yourself is, how can I manage my time effectively? And this is something that I am also working on. Just because for the past six plus months, we've been living in this limbo before we moved here permanently into our new home. And so going back to the chores and tasks, if you are a single mama and you don't have the support, then it's very important to build a system in place and that way you don't feel overwhelmed and you find this level of balance between the things that you got to do and the things that spark joy and that you want to treat yourself, okay? The next question that you can ask yourself is, how can I prioritize self-care even if it's just a few minutes a day? I did mention different strategies about practicing self-care on episode 58, So you can definitely listen to that episode and that way you can figure out what works best for you in terms of taking care of yourself. The last question is, how can I embrace imperfection and celebrate my progress? The same way as how we talked about in the previous episode about how our identity evolves, so does this process. Everything evolves. Everything changes in terms of finding balance. There will be seasons where we're going to be hella busy and we feel like time is precious and there's not enough time to do anything. And there will be seasons where there's going to be nothing on the schedule and you feel like, oh my gosh, I have all this time in a day where I can just treat myself to something or whatever. So whether if we get stuff done or we don't, just acknowledge that we are one step closer to our goals or that we have seen all of the progress that we've made from start to finish based on whatever kind of things are on our list. (laughs) And this could be 
as little as trying to get your toddler out, out the door because that is our struggle right now. <laughs> so remember, balance doesn't mean everything is equal all the time. All right. So some days you're going to be more focused on children while others might allow for more me time. It's all about finding a rhythm that works for you and your family. So mamas, let me know what you think about how you are achieving balance as a mama. Feel free to DM me on Instagram. If you are interested in learning more about balanced motherhood, you can go to my website, which is www.vivalamami.com forward slash balanced dash motherhood. That is balanced with a D dash motherhood. I'm also going to share a link in the show notes. That way you can click on it and it can take you directly to the website. Doors will open soon for you to sign up for this three-month coaching program. And so join the waitlist if you want to learn more and to be the first ones to join this coaching program. Mujer, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to listen to the Viva La Mami podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, will you do me a favor and follow the podcast and leave a rating and review? Hitting that follow button and reviewing my show will allow other mommies like you find this podcast. Your review will also tell me if you enjoy the show, so I would truly appreciate your thoughts. Don't forget, please share this podcast con tus amigas. Also, make sure to follow me at Viva La Mami on Instagram or visit vivalamami.com. Please note the information shared in this podcast is for educational purposes only and should not be taken as professional advice. Okay, mujer, thank you for joining y nos vemos in the next episode. Mm-hmm.